Hello everyone and welcome to Barca News. It's August 18th, 2022 and Chelsea will be meeting with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in order to finalize his move to the London-based club. Also, Barcelona are preparing an offer to try to sign Juan Foyt from Villarreal and La Liga are making it difficult for Barcelona to try to register new players. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Mo and I created this channel so it could be a one-stop shop for all Barcelona fans where they can come here and get the latest news in regards to FC Barcelona. Whether it be transfer rumors, injury updates, post-match analysis, or anything else, you will find it here. So I invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Now I'll begin with the news that Chelsea have scheduled a meeting for today with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in order to discuss all the personal terms with the player including the length of the contract that they will be offering him and the kind of salary that they will be paying him. Now Chelsea are hoping to lure Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang away from Barcelona by offering him a longer contract, a higher salary and of course a primary role on their squad which is something that Aubameyang does not have at Barcelona since the arrival of Robert Lewandowski. Now once Chelsea agree to all the personal terms with the player, they will make an official offer to Barcelona valued around 27 million euros, which they expect that Barcelona will accept. Now Xabi has informed Barcelona that he wants to keep Aubameyang on the squad, however the club considers this a good deal given that Aubameyang arrived for free to the club and they will be selling him for 27 million euros, which would be a 100% profit. They are also considering a good deal because Aubameyang's age, since there aren't many clubs willing to pay that much money for a 33-year-old player. Now there's also the issue of Aubameyang's salary, which will rise to 20 million euros next year. So by offloading him, Barcelona will be avoiding paying such a high salary. And of course, Barcelona need to offload several players in order to register Jules Koundé and in order to sign two fullbacks, which is the club's priority right now. Now another meeting that will be taking place today is between Juventus and Memphis Depay to try to finalize the transfer of the Dutch forward to the Italian club. Now Depay's transfer is still pending Juventus reaching an agreement with Barcelona where the club are hoping to make some money off the transfer of the player. But however Depay has asked Barcelona to allow him to leave for free as to, to not put an extra burden on Juventus and allow him to negotiate a higher salary. Now it's reported in the Italian media that Juventus will be willing to forgive some bonuses uh, that Barcelona would owe them for Miralem Pjanic in order to facilitate the transfer of Depay to the Italian league. Now as you might remember, Barcelona negotiated a deal with Juventus where we traded the Brazilian Arthur in exchange for Miralem Pjanic and in that deal Barcelona would have had to pay Juventus a certain bonus after Pjanic reached a certain amount of played games. Well, it seems that Juventus would be willing to forgive that bonus as a form of payment for Memphis Depay. Now it's expected that Depay will be finalizing his move early next week and that he could be traveling to uh, Turin on early on Tuesday in order to finalize his medical exams. Now on to the news that Barcelona are preparing an offer to try to sign Juan Foyt from Villarreal. Now Barcelona met with Juan Foyt's agent in the Barcelona offices in order to gauge the possibility of this transfer and in that meeting Juan Foyt's agents informed the club that the player is interested in joining Barcelona. Now Villarreal informed Barcelona that if they wanted to sign the Argentinian player that they needed to pay his full release clause which is valued at 42 million euros. Or Barcelona are now preparing an offer for Villarreal that's worth around the 25 million euros and the club believes that Villarreal could accept this deal especially if Juan Foyt puts some pressure on Villarreal to allow him to leave to Barcelona. Now speaking of the fullback position, Barcelona have confirmed that Marcos Alonso will be arriving in the club as soon as they finalize the registration of Jules Koundé. Now the club have confirmed that the agreement that they reached with the player several months ago and that the agreement that they reached with Chelsea a few weeks ago are still in place and intact and that Marcos Alonso will be arriving in Barcelona as soon as the club finalizes the registration of Jules Koundé. Now Marcos Alonso is expected to compete for the left back position with Jordi Alba who has been having some pretty bad performances as of late. Now speaking of the left back position, 
It's expected that Barcelona will give Alejandro Valde the opportunity to prove himself on Sunday against Real Sociedad in the first away La Liga match at the Anoeta. Now Alejandro Valde has had some really good performances during the preseason, so I really hope that the 18 year old could prove himself to Xavi and that the club can keep him as a future option. Now speaking of assurances, Barcelona have confirmed that they will continue to work to try to sign Bernardo Silva during this summer transfer window. Now Manchester City have requested 80 million euros for their Portuguese midfielder and it's reported that Barcelona would be willing to pay that much for Bernardo Silva. Now Barcelona need to first clear some space on their wage bill prior to making an official offer because after all Barcelona do have money get thanks to the activation of their economic levers but what they don't have is space on their wage bill. Now speaking of their wage bill Barcelona are still negotiating with both Sergio Busquets and Gerard Piqué for the salary reduction and in the case of Sergio Busquets the player has confirmed to the club that he would only be willing to negotiate if Barcelona allow him to leave in the summer of 2023 which is when his current contract expires and which is when Bar uh, Busquets is expected to go to the MLS to finalize his career. It's now being reported that La Liga have informed Barcelona that they will not be accepting uh, Gerard Piqué and Sergio Busquets salary reduction so it seems that La Liga's president Javier Tebas is still trying to make it as difficult as possible for Barcelona to register their players. And this is very interesting because when Josep Maria Bartomeu was the president of Barcelona, La Liga's president Javier Tebas was very quick to approve any new signings, contract renewals or player registration despite Bartomeu doing a terrible job mismanaging the club and overspending. But now that we have a president who's doing things the right way, Javier Tebas is very quick to try to make things as difficult as possible to Barcelona, which definitely puts in question his motive, especially with the fact that Javier Tebas is not only a big Real Madrid fan, but he's also a Real Madrid club member. Now on to the news that Robert Lewandowski has assured Barcelona fans that the team will win some trophies this season during an interview that he gave La Liga World. Now in this interview Lewandowski explained that when Barcelona declared interest in him he believed that it was the right time for him and for the club to make a move. He also explained that one of the reasons that he came into Barcelona was because he didn't want to play his entire career at one league which is the Bundesliga. And finally Lewandowski said that, Bar that it had been some time since Barcelona won some trophies and that this was the time to win trophies and he assured the fans that Barcelona will be winning some trophies during this season. So these are very positive remarks by the best number nine in the world and we really hope that Lewandowski is correct and that we will win trophies during this season. Now we will end today's video with the great news that our amazing captain of the women's team Alexia Putellas has been nominated for the UEFA Women's Best Player of the Year. Now Putellas had an amazing season where she scored 34 goals in 42 matches and she also won the league La Copa and was a finalist in the Women's Champions League where she scored 11 goals in 10 matches. Now Putellas is also nominated for the Ballon d'Or and this is, this is not the first time that the best player in the world has been nominated for these awards. In fact Putellas became the first female player to win the Ballon d'Or, the UEFA uh, Women's Best Player of the Year and the FIFA Women's Best Player of the Year all in one year. So I would like to wish our amazing captain good luck and I really hope that she wins this award once again. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Pisca Barça.